Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Ned from Ness Tactics. Today, I want to have a look at a Barracuda 410A unit. And unfortunately, I'm learning the hard way that they're not all the same. I think you can tell basically based off of the uh, logo. There's just uh, there's just a little sticker and light coming through the latest ones. This seems to be an older one because I did not get the i7, uh, what was it, 6th generation chip that i was expecting to get i got an old school pentium i didn't get ddr4 i got ddr3 ram so this has turned out to be a, a a budget gaming pc fail but whatever i'm gonna set sail for fail and do the best i can with this kind of stuff we got eight gigs in here i was expecting 16 a 500 gigabyte hard drive i was definitely expecting one terabyte and of course this is all within a case that isn't exactly meant to be used as a pc this is supposed to be a firewall and uh, all you have to do to make these things not be a firewall is pull out the battery you can pull out this junk you can pull out all kinds of stuff if you don't pull the battery on it then it's going to ask you for a password to get into it so uh let's get this thing out let's see what we can do with it so as we're getting Windows 10 installed on this sweet lady, let's have a closer look. She is a noisy one, man. But can you believe that this one actually also has a PCIe, uh, PCI Express port on the card? And look how small the heat sink is and the fan is because of that it's unbelievably noisy. But this fan over here you're going to find is what's making up most of the noise. Anyways, it is what it is. I intend to upgrade this system old school and piecemeal and at the end of it it will be a lot better than what you're seeing right now. Of course you'll notice I'm using a Western Digital SSD here. The power supply only has room enough for uh, one power out so I might have to upgrade that. So out the gate the first thing that I can upgrade is power supply. This is the power supply that came with the other Barracuda unit. And, uh, yeah, she'll fit right in there. It's got extra ends where those Molex, yeah. Anyways, this one, this this uh, newer one has so many cables that uh, when I was working on it, it had so many cables it was totally uh, negating the effects of this fan right here, which is the noisy one. See what I mean? That was a little bit of a difference, ain't it? All right, we've been through a benchmark, and that is legitimately the worst score I have uh, on record. What's interesting, though, is this is a low score, but at the same time, anything else that I've had that had such a low score does not have a place for a GPU at all. You know what? Let's see if this thing can get away with a little bit of Fortnite. Okay, so long story short, I absolutely could not get Fortnite to load with the original chip, with the Intel Pentium G850. So, I ended up throwing in uh, an Intel 3220. This unit, uh, the motherboard will take up to a third generation, pretty much anything. Um, the 3220 was the only one that I had, and I had said before that I would never use it in any system, because, uh, man, I had, I had it in these ELO systems, and they just, oh, they were so slow, man. They were so slow, but this definitely seems more responsive than those ELO systems. You can see here from the benchmark that uh, it's about four times the speed now, which is pretty good. Looks like Fortnite put itself in performance mode. It's pretty rough and it stutters, but I'm pulling it off. Man, those trees really give you a good idea of just how low res this thing is with an i3. Alright, for my next trick, I'm going to install a GTX 1030. As you can see, I get a better benchmark. Uh, more than double. And yeah, let's see how Fortnite plays now, shall we? Alright, right out the gate, Fortnite is looking much better. Let's check out the settings to see where we put ourselves where the quality presets are high, 3D resolution 100%, and of course we're going to turn on the fl frames per second. We'll save, and we'll get into a game. Aw, yeah, ladies, I can see for miles and miles. Still getting a bit of glitch in there. Oh yeah, this is definitely much nicer. I can definitely see further. Uh, honestly, I, I got more frames per second when I was in performance mode, but everything looked freaking horrible. Now things are eh, they're a little bit touchy, a little bit glitchy, 
and I'm pretty sure right here the system just threw me at a bunch of bots. I heard that uh, about 90% of everyone you face in this game is going to be a bot, and I can see that. I was just not having any luck this round. I couldn't actually find any worthy opponents or anything like that. So uh, this is the footage I have to give you. But still, it plays relatively nice. Uh, anywhere from 15 to 30 frames per second. So yeah, I'm calling that nice, you know. Like, okay, it's not all that nice, but it's better than nothing. Anyways, like I said, I intend to build this system up piecemeal as time goes on, but I do have a Xeon chip coming for it, and uh, a case, and a bigger power supply. So, until then, ladies and gentlemen, take care of each other, and have a good one, folks.